Hi friends, this is Lance. I'm going to talk a little bit about an update that Google has added to Google Meet here in the last several days, and that is the ability to just present a Chrome tab. And there's a couple of different scenarios where you could utilize this. One would be if you have some audio on a website and you're wanting to share it with students or record it uh, using the record feature within Google Meet, then what you could do is you could present just that tab and the clear audio, the system audio would actually be what is recorded and presented to the students. So that way they can hear it nice and clear. And then it's not going through your speaker and then to the microphone. That's what it would take care of. It would take care of a lot of those echo issues or poor audio quality. The other thing that you can do with it is if you want to present a tab and you only want students to see that tab and if you are switching to another tab to view some different information about students or things that they're working on, uh, as you are talking with them or they're working on something, then you could present just that window, uh, whether it's a slide with directions while you are checking other things and you can keep that up on your screen. I'll show you those two things and I'm going to start with the system audio and how it's handy for that. So when first though, I'm going to go ahead and hit record. So to show that you can also record this and then as you are recording, it's also pulling in the system audio when you are sharing just the Chrome tab. So let me go down here where it says present now, Chrome tab, and it allows you to select. So I have some different examples here. I could you know, select this teaching books or a YouTube video or a slides presentation, either one is appropriate. And so what ends up happening, like if I do a slides presentation here and I make sure I have audio shared, then what ends up happening and I have a fake student account here over here. You can't see it very well, but this is what the students would see. They would see a video of me still, and they would also see the slides and they don't see any of my tabs up here. So if I decide to switch tabs, students don't see me switching tabs there. Okay. So as I'm presenting this, if I hit present, then the only thing that the students get here is they get my slide. And when I switch slides, they see just those slides. They're not seeing all the different tabs and everything. And so then what that allows me to do also is if I have video directly in those slides, when I hit the play button, then what happens is the audio goes directly to their devices. Okay, okay your slide has, has two different, different programs. programs. It has a teacher. Instead of going from my speakers to the microphone to them, which is kind of messy. So as the teacher, I can see that I'm presenting this one. See how there's a little box right there that's showing that I am sharing that content and I can stop sharing that at any time a couple of different ways. One, it'll show that I have a tab here showing. I'm going to hit stop. And so now I've stopped presenting and now the students are seeing what is here in Google Meet. So I have to remember to switch back so that way I can get back. So that's an example. I'll go ahead and do that again. I'll hit present now. This time I will do a teaching books example. So this is maybe just an audio clip. You can do the exact same thing. So when I hit share, the students only see this. And if I go, I'm going to go back a step actually in this because that other one is a video. Let's just do an audio clip here. And you're wondering, hey, how do you pronounce this author's name? You can listen to that audio directly right here. So when Hi, I hit the play button. My name is Kevin Henkes. It goes directly to the student devices. They're not relying on your speaker for that to come out. And then a discussion could take place from there. All right. When I'm done, I'll hit stop. Go back to Google Meet. I'm back in. OK, so same thing works with if I were presenting YouTube, a crash course video, you could show the entire class the crash course video and then discuss it afterward. They would receive that audio. Everyone would receive it at the exact same time. So pretty cool features. All right, so the other scenario I kind of already alluded to, and the other scenario is what if you want to share something, give some directions on a slide or on a document, but then you want to be able to switch items during the presentation. So that way you give them some directions, they can be working on it, and then you can be checking some other things at the same time and you don't want to be switching tabs. So I can hit a Chrome tab here, and let's say I do my slide presentation here. And I'm going to go back a slide here. Let's say I had, I'm going to skip ahead to a slide where I know I have a bunch of directions. 
Okay, so let's say that this is a slide full of directions for the students. Then what can happen is during this time, I can be switching tabs. And right now, what the student sees is they still see that original slide. Even though I've switched tabs and checked some other things out, they're only seeing that one slide. And so that's a great way for you to be able to present content and check other things while they are working away. And then when you're done, you can stop and then they would be able to maybe share or present what they have on their screen or they could hold up a piece of paper or a dry erase board. Depends on how you're teaching and what you're teaching at that time. So two scenarios, sharing audio. Second scenario is for you to be able to share a tab and also switch tabs around. So very handy tool. The big kicker is you just have to remember which tab you are sharing at the moment. And Google does a good job within Chrome demonstrating which one you're displaying at the time because it has that little blue box. All right, and I hope that you found this information to be helpful and I hope that distance learning is going well for you.